Welcome to JG's Fight Talk, sponsored by Rich's Boxing and Limitless Creations. And with me now, Ella Thompson. How you doing, Ella? Uh, good, how are you? Yeah, really good, thank you. Or, I'm going to start quickly. The, your nickname you've got, Joyful. Yeah, Joyful Boxing. Which is probably the loveliest nickname I've ever heard. So how did thank that come about? Um, so my middle name is Joy, so I'm Ella Joy Thompson, and like my mom and dad, they'd always be like, oh, hi, Joyful, good morning, Joyful, like if I come back from bed, and when I get up and all, it's good morning, Joyful. So then when I like sort of started boxing, we were like, we need a name, and then we were trying to think, and then we are like, how about we just go original with our nickname, Joyful, and they're just like, Joyful Boxing, and then it stuck. Yeah, yeah, well, anyone who calls their, their child Joyful in the morning, they must have an amazing child. Oh, well, thank you. Because my my kids in the morning, they're not joyful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to be joyful anyway every morning. Oh, you, you can definitely see it. You've got a little spark. Thank but you. 13 years old. Yeah, 13. And you're already, you know, well, well into boxing. You're sort of, yeah. you know drowning in it you absolutely love boxing don't you yeah i do i love it it's an amazing sport i just i just love it so how how did it come about for you how did you get into boxing well i have a cousin called elise elise elliott and she she did boxing and i used to do kickboxing i started when i was four and we were just like yeah let's try boxing it's probably like kickboxing so and we also saw it like katie taylor fighting and all so we were like let's try it and then when I went with my, I tagged along with Elise to St. Mead Boxing Club where she trained and I just, I just loved it. I did one training session and I loved it. So what, what age were you when you started? Um, I was four. No, I mean, I was nine, sorry. And then I was nine when I started boxing. But at that time I did kickboxing as well. So I did both. But when I was 10, then I fully committed to boxing. Blimey, okay. So what, what was it that drew you to boxing more than kickboxing then? Um, don't get me wrong, kickboxing is really good. It's just boxing was a bit more aggressive because when I was doing kickboxing, uh, if you hit too hard, it'd be like, oh, come on, ease, a bit, ease <laughs> up a bit. And I just I just really liked hitting hard and I liked getting stuck in, so I just liked it that way. So, yeah. So you basically like to punch people harder? Yeah, I like hitting hard. <laughs> Oh, Ella. <laughs> it sounds uh, bad saying I like hitting harder, but it's, it was the truth. The thing is, though, it, you know, if you hit hard, you can't help it, can you? So you might as no. well put it to good use. Yeah, you got to use it somehow. So I just did it by boxing and I really liked it. Yeah, yeah. So what, what, what have you done so far uh, as a boxer? I have done I've done the Leinsters, which I lost to Tegan Farley, but it was a split decision. And I've done the Golden Girls competition over in Sweden, which I won. And I did sorry, I'm trying to remember. I did the Eskers, which I won. And then I did Monkstown, which I lost on a split. I did Sligo versus Leitrim and Meath, and I won that. And and then I did Wexford, which I Lost in a split decision, but it was a very it was very unfair because I weighed in at thirty three kg, and then the girl I was fighting was at thirty six kg, but we still fought. So, but it was good enough because I got split decision. But would it be nicer to win? Yeah, especially with that weight, you know that weight difference. You you've still yeah. you know, done well to get a split decision out of that, really, haven't you? Yeah, I have. So, well, it was nicer to win, but split with that like with the weight, it was okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like you were a very determined girl and, you know, yeah. just meeting your dad before before we came on here, you know, you've got the family behind you, you know, every. it sounds like you've got real good support around you. Yeah, I do. I have amazing support with my dad, doing pads with me every night. My mom, she's just always there for me. And I have my brother, Luke, who's like, 
he sometimes turns into my personal punch bag <laughs> when we're fighting. And then I got CJ, who's amazing, my little brother. He's my youngest, so my youngest little brother. So how how did how did your parents feel when you first sort of decided you wanted to basically punch people? Well, my dad, he was delighted. He was like, oh, yeah. And he was like... <laughs> See that I sort of had, like, I had talent, and he was like, oh, yeah, that's great. And then my mom, I think, like, every mom was sort of like, oh, I don't really want her doing a sport where she's going to be going to be getting hit. And But she was grand then. She was like, okay, she likes it, and she's good at it. She's like, that's fine. Well, that's a typical dad response. I, I can vouch for that one because we're very yeah. much like, oh, you want to, oh, yeah, you go for that. You know, if it's anything yeah. to do that has some sort of, punching or violence in there with some description even if it's a little bit we're kind of like yeah go for it yeah that's great yeah with dad my coach as well so it's just like he's like yep that's fine i'm <laughs> so um, being a coach and it, and it's just worked ever since because it's really handy having dad as a coach especially during like the pandemic so it's very good yeah especially you know with your dad as well no one knows you better he, he's going to guide you in the right way and he's going to help you the best way he can and He's never going to put you down a road that he doesn't feel you're not going to succeed or he's going to, you know, do what's best for you, isn't he? And you can't get better than that, can you? No, you can't. And it's really handy having a dad as a coach because, like, he just knows, like, how you're feeling if you, like, give him a look. Like, it's like, ugh. And he just knows, like, you don't have to say anything. It's just like, yeah, okay. So it's really handy. So who's your, I know this is a really stupid question, but I know what the answer is going to be anyway, but who's your go-to person in boxing? Who's your, who's the person you look to as a role model or that sort of star in boxing? Uh, it would be Katie Taylor. I, I love her. She's oh. amazing. <laughs> Funny yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, as we can see, the gloves are on the shelf. Yeah, they're up there. <laughs> so have you met Katie as well? Yeah, I have. I met her on the Late Night Toy Show, and then I did a personal training session with her, and it was very good. And then online, we stay in contact as well sometimes. Well, you can't, you know, it's like a dream, isn't it? To, for, yeah. for someone in your position who's just coming through and, you know, having her eyes set on, on a goal, especially, you know, you were talking about the Olympics down the line, you know. Yeah. It's, you know, to have someone like that, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, and it's so handy to have your idol just like, if there's, if just having your idol there and listening to you. And so handy just being able to talk to her and like her answering. It's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we'll talk about it now then, as you've brought up your favourite. Yeah. Obviously, you've got the big fight coming up um, May the 1st. Taylor, Taylor versus yeah. Jonas. Tough fight, to be fair, because Natasha Jonas, not, you know, very, very tough competitor. Talented and skilled as well. So it'll be very, it'll be an amazing fight. That's definitely, like, going to be amazing. Like, for people that aren't into boxing, I think they should still watch that one. It's going to be very good. Yeah, I think if people have their doubts about ladies boxing, because there's still a few people, isn't there, out there, the very old school or you know that they're not really into ladies boxing that's probably the perfect fight to watch to see yeah. two women at their best yeah that's going to be a great fight like and i don't know how it's going to go well i i think casey's going to win and i hope casey's going to win but natasha is a very strong fighter as well so yeah it is i'm gonna i know it's silly i'm gonna ask you for a prediction anyway but I can, yeah. I can guess what the answer's going to be. <laughs> but who's going to win, Ella? Katie Taylor. Oh. <laughs> what, is she going to win on points? Or is it going to be a knockout? Uh, no. I'm hoping knockout, but Natasha's a very, like, she's got a good chin, so I'd say it'll go to points. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm kind of stuck with this one. Because it's, it's a really yeah. difficult, you know, Katie's such a major role model, isn't she? In and out of the ring. Yeah. And you've got Natasha Jonas, who is also a really good role model and in and out of the ring. But 
they both bring something a bit different. Katie's got such a big power, isn't she? Speed and power she's got is amazing. She yeah. just is like it throws these like massive punches and she's out and like it's just very good so yeah yeah well it's, mm -hmm. it's good that you've got respect for both fighters is there anyone else that you like um i do like i like like amateur or professional or both go yeah go either or i don't mind um i like kelly harrington um she's a amateur in ireland and I really like her. And then male, I like Lomotanko. He's very good, very quick on the feet. I really like him. His like foot movement and the way, because I like all those, those shots. So he's very good. And then, and I'm trying to think of them all. I'm trying to think of some now. Um, I like Kelly, Terry Harper. She's very good as well. I'll chuck yeah. some names at you. Um... Savannah Marshall. She's very good as well, yeah. I really like, yeah. Um, oh, blimey, you've got me. You've got me now. <laughs> it's um, hard. I'm with them. Like, you know them straight away. It's just now on the spot. You, and like, you've obviously got Rachel Ball. Oh, yeah. I really yeah. like her. She's a very good fight as well. Shannon Courtney. Oh, yeah. I really like her. I love her. Her hair. <laughs> her hair. I like that. <laughs> And then you've got Ebony Bridges from Australia. She's, she's just coming over. Oh, okay. So it's, you know, it, she's done the majority of her fights in Australia, but she's quite a known person to come over now. Um, but yeah, it, it's, there's a lot, isn't there? Um, there's, after like, there's so many now, like just getting better and rising more. There's so many. Yeah, we've we've gone from barely any to this explosion yeah. of of women in the sport, and and to be fair, Eddie Hearn is probably the best person that's elevated, isn't he? All the women yeah. on the stage get better and getting well. Not he's helping so them a lot. Maybe one day, I know your ambition. You were saying is the Olympics in when was it? Twenty twenty eight ish. Twenty eight, and then after that. I'm hoping to go professional and to inspire everyone, inspire young girl boxers and male yeah, to yeah. just to train to to chase their like get their goals and to to chase their dreams and just become if they want to be professional they can do it. All they have to do is just chase it. Well, Ella, I think you've got such a uh, a grown up approach already um with how you view things and how you look at things and how you want people to view you as well and i think that's that's really important you know that you've you've found your your path that you want to go on and and be successful at and you work hard you know we we see the training videos and things like this and yeah you know, and and joyful yeah joyful tv yeah I'm hoping on my things. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really good, honestly. And as I say, it, your parents, are, I'm sure they're very, very proud of you. And, and they're going to support you the whole way. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad I've had the opportunity to have a chat with you. I, I think you're going to be a, a bright star in the future. And, Thank you. Um, remember the name. I think that's what you've got to say <laughs> to people. Remember the name. Thank you. So, no, it's been lovely having you on. And um, maybe when you get a bit of fight news, because I know things are coming up, things are coming up, you know, to yeah. open up a bit more. I don't know how things are over in Ireland. How, how's the situation with... Oh, we're all locked down. We can't train, but, like, apart from at our house. But we're, like, we can't travel outside of, like, 5K outside of our county. We can't do anything. Yeah. It's all very... Well, yeah. hopefully, hopefully we can, um, as I say, see you back down the gym soon, you know, doing what you do best and get back out to those fights when hopefully the world opens up a bit more, doesn't it? Yeah, so we can like see everything and go places, oh. go back to it. It'd be lovely. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time, but Ella, it's been lovely having you on and I think joyful is the word for you, definitely.
I, you know, I've never had someone on here that smiles so much and just loves what they do. And, I, you know, you're going to be the name for the future, I think, especially from Ireland. You know, Katie Taylor's got to retire at some stage and someone's got a slot in there. Yeah, thank so, you. Yeah, lovely having you on. And thank um, you. yeah, hopefully we'll get you back on soon. Yeah, thank you so much for this. Uh, no problem at all. I'll just say the end bit and then I'll speak to your dad after. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you soon, Ella. All right, you take care. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you no for having problem. me on. No problem. Anytime. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. So, Ella Thompson, she's got a big future ahead of her. Um, yeah, I think we've found another Irish talent coming through. And, um, yeah, as we say, the female division is really picking up now. And nice to see youngsters with that kind of attitude coming through and just showing off their talent you know mum and dad so supportive and uh yeah just really looking forward to it watch this space the olympics 2028 remember the name ella thompson i'm telling you now big things are coming so if you enjoy what you've seen today uh go onto the youtube channel type in jg's fight talk hit the subscribe button and check out the rest of the content and uh yeah we'll see you all soon thank you oh, yeah.